Hello guys, it's Dipson here and in today's video we're gonna do the uh, Monday monitor room from Trihack Me. It's actually a challenge uh, in the Waza. So basically we will be using Waza to investigate an alert. So you can uh, watch this video to learn uh, something about Waza or maybe you are stuck in the room and you want the answers, you want some explanations. Then this video is for you. Okay, let's begin. Let's do not waste our time. So here is our scenario. Swift Pen, Swift Spend Finance, the coolest fintech company in town, is on a mission to level up its cybersecurity game to keep those digital adversaries at bay and ensure their customers stay safe and sound. Okay. Mm, you are the cyber sleuth, they've called into the crack the code. Okay, and here is really important information that the tests were run on April 29th between 12 and 8 p.m. Okay, so let's begin. I have already launched the machine, so it's up and running right here. Um, first question, initial access was established using a downloaded file. What is the file name saved on the host? Okay, um, basically what we have to do, we firstly have to prepare our dashboard. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the date because we know that the tests were running on April 29th from 12 p.m. 12 a.m. Um, till April 29th, 8 p.m. Cool. And do not forget to apply our Monday, Monday monitor queries. It's really important so we can see the uh, alerts. Okay, let's let's click refresh. Cool, we are here. Okay, so first thing, uh, we need to uh, find the file name saved on the host. Okay, so let's go to events and let's search for localhost. Maybe we can find some information in there. Okay, we have three alerts. Um, let's go from the bottom. Microsoft Office product spawning Windows shell. Okay, let's examine the log. Mm -hmm. We see here the event data description, image. We see the original file name that PowerShell was used. Um, do we see something suspicious here? Um, Sysmon process anomalies, okay. No, but I think everything is okay in there. Uh, no, no, we see the um, uh, data, vin event data command line. We see that someone is PowerShell uh, to spawn this uh, file. So let's check whether this answer will be correct. Yes, it was correct. Okay, uh, what is the full command to run to create a scheduled task? Um, okay, so if you want to see the full command to this event, we have to apply another filter called data with event and it is gonna be um, parent command line. Let's apply it. Cool, it is applied. Uh, let's refresh our, um, our dashboard. Is it refreshed? Okay, it is. And what we need to find, we need to find the full um, full command that was used. Uh, parent command line. It's not gonna be this one. Um, it might be this one. No, no, no. It's not. Uh, sorry, my. But we have to look for parent command line. It's not gonna be this one because as you can see it's too short for the answer. We can try, uh, sorry. Mm. We can look for it somewhere in there. Okay, here's the full log. Mm. Okay, give me, oh, let's, Maybe refresh it again. 
Uh, we still have our little local host. Okay, um, let's try something different. Let's because we need to find a full command to schedule task, and we know that we have something like scheduler event in Waza. But can we oh scheduler? Okay, this is refreshed. Now we have ten events, and we have something in there. You see, there is some suspicious command. Let's just go and try it. Um, okay, let's copy it. Cool, we are fine. That was it. Uh, what time is the, the scheduled task meant to run? It's an easy one because you can see in there um, the scheduled uh, time that the task will be running is already given, so we can just go with it. 12.34 Cool, what was encoded? What was encoded? Um, yeah, if you look at the full command we see uh, some weird string in there. Here we have some commands that we know it's like uh, registry add uh, and everything looks... Mm, I mean it's, it's uh, malicious but everything looks quite normal but we have some weird string in there. Let's just copy this string and we'll decode it because we have to look uh, for some encoded information. I have already prepared uh, Cyberchef. It's a really cool tool to when it comes to encoding. Let's try and encode the string. Cool. We have the uh, decoded message. Let's just paste it in. And yeah, we are fine. What password was set for the new user account? Okay, in this case we need to put filter, we need to search for net and we have to uh, examine some logs and we have to find the password, okay. Um, there is nothing in there, nothing in there. This looks cool. This looks cool too. Um, it is okay. Mm, it is okay. Okay, everything looks okay in here. Maybe I have missed something. Um, let's see. Oh, we have something. User guest i am monitoring let's go with it let's just copy it and try it yeah we are fine what is the name of the dot exe that was used to dump credentials okay so basically the software uh, that is used on windows to dump credentials is called mimikatz but we have to find the uh, precise dot exe name so let's just go and Look for Mimi cuts. Okay. Um, yeah, these are events with Mimi cuts, and we see we have Mimi cuts here, but we have to find. Uh, let's just look at this event. We have to find the exact name. Mimi cuts. Okay. Okay, maybe we'll just go and try Mimi cuts.exe, but Mimi cuts.exe. Now they are not asking for this. Okay, we have to examine this and uh, we see Memotech exe. This it is suspicious. Let's try it. Mimotech.exe. Cool, we are fine. Data was exfiltrated from the host. What was the flag that was part of the data? Okay, to find the last, um, to find the last uh, flag, mm, we can simply just go to Waza and type in THM. Uh, and yeah, we have one event. We can just examine this. Let's see on the command line. And yeah, here we have our flag. So we can just copy it, 
go with it and boom we have finished this room in I believe below 10 minutes so yeah that was really cool uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions you can ask below and stay cyber secure bye